One of the many perks of working from home is getting to listen to music as much as possible. For me, putting on an album I'm really into can get me motivated. It can help me be more productive, and most importantly, inspire me to be creative. And so I'm always on the hunt for ways to improve my music setup in my office, and I've stumbled across a device that really adds to my music setup. This is The Car Thing by Spotify, and as its name suggests, it's a device that was designed to be placed in a car to control Spotify, specifically in older cars that don't support Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. However, what I've recently discovered is that the car thing can also be used as a dedicated music controller that you can place on your desk to give you instant access to your Spotify library. And if I may, it does this with a very minimal and clean aesthetic that will likely fit in any desk setup. Oh, and best of all, Spotify is currently fire selling these things for 30 US dollars. That's crazy cheap for a media controller this nice. But there are a few things you should know before you pull the trigger and pick one of these things up. So the car thing is one of my favorite additions to my desk recently, but there are a few limitations. First, you need to know that this is official Spotify hardware. So this device only works with Spotify, not Apple Music or YouTube or any other audio source. And it does not control generic audio like the media keys on your keyboard do on Mac or Windows. Second, this device does not connect directly to your computer. As it was originally designed for the car, the car thing can only pair with a phone. Now that may seem like a deal breaker, but it's not. Thanks to Spotify's Connect feature, the car thing will show you what's playing wherever your Spotify account is in use. In other words, even though the car thing connects to your phone, the car thing will still control the music being played on your computer and computer speakers. It just needs to stay connected to your phone via Bluetooth to make it happen. And if you're like me and leave Bluetooth on 24 seven, this is a non-issue. So with those limitations out of the way, why exactly should you pick one of these things up? First, it makes enjoying music at my desk more tactile. It reminds me of using an old iPod with a click wheel. I can reach over and easily change the volume, skip tracks, all with physical buttons. Second, it reduces distractions by allowing me to avoid my phone. If you're like me and you pick up your phone to change songs during the day, it's impossible to avoid notifications and text messages. The car thing allows me to interact with Spotify without having to be tempted by those distractions on my phone. Third, I really enjoy how this device has reminded me how much album artwork can add to the experience. Like the ritual of pulling out a vinyl record, the car thing puts album artwork on display again. It's always visible on my desk, and I really appreciate that. For me, another benefit of this device is the way it looks. It has a clean, minimal aesthetic. It reminds me of a device from Apple or Microsoft. Very understated in its design, and it accomplishes exactly what it needs to do without any fuss or extras. Oh, and by the way, it has a built-in microphone, so you can simply tell Spotify what you want to listen to if you don't feel like reaching over and interacting with the buttons. Oh, and did I mention it's a touchscreen as well, so if you prefer to swipe and select with your finger, you can do that here. Speaking of buttons, the top of the car thing has four of them, and you can use them to program in favorite playlists, artists, or albums. So if you need to get to your desk and just get started and you want tunes on in the background, you can just tap any of these four buttons and the music just starts. It's one of those things that makes perfect sense in a car because you want the driver not to be distracted, but it also makes sense in an office environment. Sometimes you don't wanna fumble through all these options and you just wanna get music playing and get to work. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, this thing is only 30 US dollars at the time of recording this video. I actually purchased mine a few weeks back when the price was still at 50, but even that felt like a steal for what I'm getting. I keep getting surprised with just how good the build quality is on a device that is this cheap. Let me give you an example. I was in my office at night and the lights were down low and I noticed that the car thing automatically dimmed its display to match the ambient lighting in my office. Of course, this makes sense. This is a device that is supposed to be on the dashboard of a car, so of course driving at night means the screen needs to become more dim. It's just another one of those features that I never would have thought of, but this device has it. It's comfortable to use day or night. And although I have mine placed here underneath my speaker where I can reach it very easily, I've seen people place these behind their keyboard to kind of act like a macro pad for Spotify or elsewhere on the side of their desk so their audio is even closer within reach. 
you really can get creative with where you place this thing. All it needs is a single USB-C cable for power, and the rest is all wireless. In my instance, I actually ended up plugging it into a spare USB port on the side of my switch dock, and that's enough power to get this thing going. Setup was a breeze, you simply open the Spotify app on your phone and get connected. It does come with a bunch of mounts for cars to clip this thing to the air conditioner vents or the CD tray of a vehicle. I was surprised to find that this piece of plastic here for mounting it to a CD player, which my car does not have, was actually very useful for my office. I was able to use the CD mount to have the car thing float underneath one of my speakers. It's a very clean look and it keeps my music within arm's reach. At 30 bucks, the car thing is a no brainer if you want a new way to control Spotify at your desk, but act fast. Who knows how many of these things they have left and they're currently on fire sale. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to Work From Hype. I started this project to document and capture my never ending quest to improve my own workspace and to share what I've learned along the way. And if you're interested in more videos like this one, please do subscribe and come along for the ride. My name is Nick Moe and I will catch you in the next one.